Hey guys, what is going on? Aaron Chen here. Hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, then you're probably one of my YouTube subscribers. Hello, hello. Uh, or you just found me somewhere on internet land, maybe Google or YouTube, okay? So today I wanted to talk about something really interesting. It's, it's really about, um, you know, I think it's a key skill to learning how to survive if you're trying to build an online business. Very, very important, okay? And so this is a lot of mindset stuff, right? But uh, I'm gonna just share an idea with you that will literally change your business and it will it will really make a difference between whether you, you know, you're doing this for one month or whether you're gonna last as long as I have for 10 years, okay? It, it's, it's a big, big deal. So as a lot of you know, um, I've been online marketing now for a decade. If you guys didn't know that, that that's how long I've been on. Um, and you know, the first eight years, as a lot of you know, again, it was very, very challenging, right? I've made a lot of mistakes. And um, it, you know, I think that I've had the experience of, um, you know, failing more than most people because most of the time people will only last a couple of months, maybe a year. But I failed literally for eight solid years, right? In the first eight years, I spent more than $80,000 on my business. That's not including traffic costs. If you include the, the amount of money that I spent on advertising, probably closer to $120,000, $130,000 know, US dollars. Um, most people can't even spend that kind of money on their business. Literally, I, I wiped my entire savings out, right? Um, and, and so I've made a lot of mistakes, right? I've learned from a lot of them as well. And, and the reason why I'm telling you this is because something happened to me yesterday um, which I was pretty shocked by, to be honest, because it's never happened to me before, you know, in the last 10 years. And, and so wh what had actually happened was um, I was checking my social media accounts and all of a sudden I found that somebody had basically spammed my all of my social media accounts, my Facebook, my YouTube, and it, it said some pretty nasty stuff like, you know, like, you're, you're a scammer, don't listen to this guy, blah, 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 blah. And it was the same uh, paragraph over and over again, repeated like hundreds of times all over my social media accounts, right? And I was thinking to myself like, well, first of all, this guy is definitely a marketer, right? Some sort of SEO guy, um, because they had to use some sort of software to be able to do that, because every single comment that was left on my accounts um, had a different name, right? So it was obviously somebody who knew what they were doing. So I was thinking to myself, what did I do to somebody to have sort of, you know, uh, you know gotten that kind of response that someone was so angry at me that they took the time out of their day to attack all of my social media accounts and basically attack me, right? And I was like, because, you know, you guys know me, okay? A lot of you guys who are on my YouTube channel who follow me, you know that, um, you know, as much as possible, I try to be at the, at the highest level of integrity because that's the only way that you should run your business, right? You guys know what I stand for. I stand for hard work, uh, you know, putting in tons of action into your business and, and marketing programs that are good, right? I don't market crap, right? I'm, I'm not about that. And yet, I got that kind of, um, you know, somebody was so angry at me that they took the time out to, to actually do that kind of stuff, right? So I was like, I was really surprised. I was like, man, what, what did I do to sort of, you know, warrant this kind of reaction online, right? So I started digging through a lot of my um, uh, stuff, right? I, I started digging through my Facebook accounts. I started digging through my YouTube accounts. I was trying to clear everything out. And then I found this comment by someone, okay? Um, who, who was basically, I think he's a, he's a marketer who basically markets a particular system and I, was, I had reviewed that system and I had given it a bad review because it's a shit product, okay? Now, I'm, and I'm, I'm not gonna reveal the name of the product here because again, I don't want to have any issues with it. But basically, I had reviewed a program that is basically not good at all. Okay, it's a 40, it's a cheap program. It's a $47 program. Um, and I think this marketer markets it and you know, he didn't want me showing up on the first page of YouTube for it. So literally he threatened me. He said, listen, you either take this down within 24 hours. Obviously I didn't see that comment until two days later. And he's like, or I am going to spam all of your social media accounts, which is exactly what this person did, right? Now here's the crazy part, okay? Um, so, 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 so let, let me kind of explain, uh, you know, how I, how I, I even got here. So, so, so a lot of what I do is, is I review programs, okay? So over the last year, I've been reviewing a lot of products online and it's not something that I did before, but it's, it's one of the strategies that I use now, right? Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to say a program is bad just for the sake of saying it's bad and then, you know, moving people into my deal, okay? That's not what I do. If a program is good and I review it, I will say it's good, okay? But if a program is shit, like 95% of the products that I review, which is crazy by the way, because I didn't really expect that, to be honest. I know that a lot of people have been burned by buying stuff online, but I just thought it was them 
buying stuff that was that was good, but they didn't take action on it, right? And then they just call it a scam. But actually, now that I've been reviewing so many programs online, I found that actually there's a lot of really bad stuff out there. It, it's surprising. I actually was surprised because over the last 10 years that I've been building businesses, I will usually do some research on a product before I buy it, okay? Or usually when I buy stuff from, pe from people, I already trust them because I've been following them for a while. So I know that this stuff is gonna be good. So it's very rare that I've bought products over the years that are complete rubbish, okay? Most of the time they're okay, or they're very good. It's very rare that they're complete crap, all right? Whether that's a you know, $50 program or a $10,000 program, right? And again, I've, I've had experience buying all, 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 you know, all sorts of levels uh, and price points in between. But over the last year that I've been reviewing a lot of programs and I've reviewed um, you know, lots of different programs, push button software, ClickBank products, software, um, MLM companies and that kind of stuff. I honestly, 90% of the stuff I review is just pure junk. It's crazy, right? And a lot of the people that are creating these programs, they're just creating the program to sell the program, but they don't really care about what they're actually creating in terms of content, right? Um, because they just wanna make money off the, the, the product sales. And so a lot of it has, has been really crap. And so this product that I reviewed, it was just not very good at all. And I guess this guy, who was probably making quite a decent amount of money uh, on that program, um, didn't want my video showing up for that particular keyword and he literally just took, you know, I don't know, one or two hours out of his day to, you know, flood my, all of my social media accounts with, with crap, right? So again, it was, it was, I was pretty shocked by it. I, you know, I cleaned everything up, uh, you know, obviously, I, you know, I got rid of that review because obviously I don't want to, you know, get into another hassle with this guy. But the point of this video that I'm trying to make is that no matter what you do online, you know, even if you're trying to be the good person, right? Even though you're trying to be of the highest integrity possible because that's what I try to do. That's the message that I try and create. That's my brand, right? That's my whole brand. I'm all about hard work. I'm all about integrity. I'm all about going out there and making it happen, right? You guys know that. Um, so I'm not gonna shit on, you know, little programs just to promote my stuff. I will, if it's good, I'll say it's good. If it's crap, I'm gonna say it's crap, right? Because I, you know, I've had, uh, the experience I think of, of uh, you know, a lot more than other people out there. So there are certain things that I believe in that work better than others. So if I review a program and it's okay, but I think that, you know, it's missing a few things, I'll say it's missing a few things. You know, it's missing one, two, three, for example, right? If it's a great program, I'll say it straight up, it's a great program. If it's crap, I'm gonna say, look, you're not gonna make any money from this program because of this, this, and this reason, right? Because um, I, I tried that before, I wasn't very successful at it, but at the same time, this is just my opinion, right? You guys don't have to listen to anything that I'm saying, right? This is just my opinion, and you know, based on that, you can follow it or, or you don't have to, right? But this is what I do now that works, and if you wanna check it out, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to, and that's always the message that I give, okay? Um, but no matter how good a person you're trying to be, or you know, no matter if your integrity is, is you know, the highest level possible, you will still get haters out there for different reasons, guys. And that's really the point of this video today, okay? I just wanted to give you the backstory, right? But no matter what you do, you're gonna get haters, okay? And what you're gonna find is that the more you're, you put yourself out there, and the more traffic that you drive, and the bigger a brand that you have, the more haters you're gonna have. People are just gonna hate on you no matter what, okay? No matter if you're the most amazing person or if you're the worst person, it doesn't matter, okay? People are just gonna hate on you. And what you're gonna have to learn how to do is you're just gonna have to learn to ignore these people, ignore the naysayers, and just keep pushing forward. You know, put blinders on and keep pushing forward. So what did I do? I found out what the problem was. I knew that this guy was, you know, I mean, the fact that he, he, because I know it's a he, um, the fact that this guy, you know, is even marketing this crappy product tells me a lot about them, okay? That they're just out there to make a whole bunch of money and they don't care about anybody, all right, but themselves. Um, and the fact that they were even willing to you take, you know, an hour to two hours out of their day to try and destroy my social media accounts is, it, it's very telling, right? It tells me a lot about this person's character. Anyway, so I cleaned up my stuff and you know what I did? I deleted that video and I am gonna move on. I'm literally, I just made two more review videos today. I'm not gonna worry about you know, what this person thinks. I'm not gonna take down my review channel or anything like that because I think that what I'm doing is right. You know, To review products, um, if, they're, if they're not very good, I'm gonna say they're not very good. And if you know, I have a moral obligation to the marketplace to, re to get people into my deal because I think it's good. 
right? And if I look after my people and if I train my students well and they get a certain result, that is a good thing. Right? Don't you agree? If I teach someone how to become successful, if I teach them that, if I show them that what they're doing in that particular program or that model or that business or whatever it is or that marketing strategy is not a very good strategy because I've tried it before and they're probably not going to be very successful in it, but I show them a better way, I'm helping people, right? And so I'm gonna, it's my moral responsibility to continue to propagate that message, okay? And that's something that you guys have to understand. If you believe in something, and you think that you're doing the right thing, then it's your moral obligation to get that product into as many people's hands as humanly possible. Even though there, are, there will be a bunch of people out there that will hate on you, no matter what, okay? And so, what, what, what is the solution to it? Just ignore them. Ignore them, put blinders on, have very, very thick skin because that's what you're gonna need as an entrepreneur and keep pushing forward, okay? So, I could have, you know, I could have gotten really, really upset about the situation. Uh, I could have taken down my channel. I could have said, oh man, this strategy is not working because after doing, you know, 150 videos, one marketer got angry at me and flooded my social media accounts with all this garbage, right? Um, and I could have just let that ruin my entire strategy and, you know, I could have, you know, not done anything. I could have crawled under my, you know, my, my blanket and just, you know, um, you know <laughs> went into hiding, but I'm not gonna do that because you have to expect that kind of thing. There are a lot of people out there you know, in the world, there are some you know, pretty horrible people out there, but there are a lot of good people too, okay? And so again, um, make sure you've got very thick skin when it comes to this game, okay? Don't let other people you know, um, affect what you're, what, you know, what's gonna happen with your life, your business, and your dreams, okay? And understand that the bigger that you get, the more haters you're gonna get. Right? And, and the, the, the crazy thing about this particular person is that they were hating on me because I did a negative review on a, a crappy little product that they're marketing. That, that's, even, that's even crazier, okay, that that happened. You know, it wasn't even that they disagreed with what I said or that they didn't like my marketing style or, or, or whatever it was. They just, it was just because of that particular product. It wasn't a general thing, it was that particular product alone. So, you know, but it happens, guys, okay? And, and what you gotta do is, um, it's sort of, you know, this is the kind of stuff that makes you stronger. Okay, when, when stuff like this happens to you, just kind of like brush it off, you know, pick yourself off the ground, brush it off and just continue pushing forward. As long as you believe that you're doing the right thing and you're being of the highest integrity, okay, and you're not doing like black hat, you know, uh, you know you're, not, you're not hurting people, you're not ruin, ruining lives or anything like that. If you're doing the right thing and you believe you're doing the right thing, then it's absolutely fine and keep going, okay? So listen, let me know what you thought in the comments below. You know, have you had situations in your business um, your, or, or your life really where you've had people hate on you, um, you know, had said bad things about you and you, you, know, you started getting worried and you know, you know I, I would like to hear those stories. So let me know if you agree with this, okay? Uh, would appreciate some thumbs ups as well. Um, if you guys got some value from this video today, if you learned a couple of lessons, uh, would love to hear what you guys thought, okay? And of course, um, if you want to get more of this kind of stuff, you can subscribe to my channel below. Uh, and if you're not part of my, um, if you're not part of my four-day training program that will teach you how to build a very successful business online, which includes stuff like we just spoke about today, then all you have to do is click the link below, and you can get access to that very, very easily. Okay. So listen, take care. Take massive action this week in your business. Don't let negative people in the world get you down because. They're never gonna go anywhere in life, okay? All these negative naysayers, literally, just let them wallow in their misery, okay? Because misery loves company, but you, my friend, you're gonna go very, very far because you're a rock star, you're positive, and you're gonna take, you're gonna do whatever it takes to make it happen, and you know, you're gonna do whatever it takes to help you achieve your dreams, right? Exactly, so take care, all the best. Speak to you very, very soon in another, another video. Take care.